Buffalo Bills have reportedly signed quarterback Ben DiNucci to a contract as of Monday with the news coming shortly after the announcement of an injury to who was the presumed third stringer in Buffalo in Shane Bouchelle. DiNucci hasn't played in a regular season NFL game since 2020 and he spent the 2023 season with the Seattle Sea Dogs in the XFL but it's not like he's coming into Buffalo to take over for Josh Allen. Welcome back to the Bills Bunker. I can't believe this, but today I'm making a video about the Buffalo Bills signing Ben DiNucci. And this news came while I was in the gym. And I came home from the gym to make a video about Ben DiNucci. Yes, that just shows my dedication to this channel. I left the gym early, in the middle of my workout, to come here and make a video about the Buffalo Bills signing Ben DiNucci, a guy who hasn't played in the NFL since 2020. If you haven't yet, I encourage you to click subscribe and stay tuned for more content coming your way. If you haven't seen yet, I was at the Buffalo Bills preseason game on Saturday. I recorded a lot of content there, plethora of videos and shorts that came out, and there's still more to come. So stay tuned for all that great stuff, and I'll be at a lot of home games throughout the season, some road as well. Here we go. The announcement of this signing, the signing of Ben DiNucci, comes less than 48 hours after the conclusion of the Bills preseason opener on Saturday, a game in which Buffalo's backup quarterbacks failed to impress. Shane Bichel suffered an injury in the game and he completed 6 of 10 passes for 53 yards, but he also threw a pick 6 in the process. Buffalo's presumed backup quarterback Mitch Trubisky also failed to impress in this game as he completed 10 of 18 passes for just 82 yards. But to be fair to him, he was consistently being pressured and he had absolutely no help from his offensive line. The addition of Ben DiNucci is likely just to have someone to take on most of the preseason snaps for the Bills at the quarterback position because the last thing this team needs is for Josh Allen or Mitch Trubisky to suffer an injury before the regular season gets underway. Realistically, it's highly unlikely for DiNucci to actually even make the Bills' final roster. This is a player who hasn't played in a regular season NFL game since the 2020 season, and he only has one start under his belt in the league, three games of NFL experience. Meanwhile, Mitch Trubisky, he has a lot of experience in the NFL, and he has one year of experience in the system with Buffalo from the 2021 season already. He seems to be very well liked by the front office, and he seems to have a good relationship with Josh Allen off the field. Just by the eye test, Trubisky didn't look good in his preseason outing against Chicago, and he hasn't looked good in the NFL for quite some time now. However, he's probably going to be their guy at quarterback too, unless something drastically significant happens. For Danucci, this is just an opportunity to showcase what he can do in a limited role, and he's really just being thrown into the fire by the Buffalo Bills. There's a lot working against him here. Listen, I'm not trying to knock on Ben DiNucci at all. Um, he's a better quarterback than I am, and I'm not sure how much that's saying. But Ben DiNucci, honestly, like he's just someone that's kind of being thrown into the fire by the Buffalo Bills here. Does he have a chance to compete for quarterback too? I guess, but a lot working against him here. Hasn't played in a regular season game since 2020. Mitch Trubisky, he's liked by the Bills. He's been here before. Mitch Trubisky's probably quarterback too. And that's something that if you don't like it, just accept it. It is what it is. The Buffalo Bills have Josh Allen at the quarterback position. And he is not in danger of losing his spot to either of Mitch Trubisky or Ben DiNucci. But that's all I have for this video. I've already spent quite some time, actually... This is a lot of time I've spent talking about Ben DiNucci today. Not something I expected to do, but I'm doing it anyways. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't yet, click subscribe. Stay tuned for more content coming your way all season long, right here on the Bills Bunker. I'm Jake Varco. Go Bills. Good luck, Ben DiNucci.